Guess what? It's April and it's time for your tarot reading. I'm sorry I lost my voice. That's why they're a little bit late and that's also why it sounds like shit, but let's get started. Hi Capricorn, it's April. Happy to talk to you. So we're going to talk about um, what's going on with you socially this month, emotionally. Um, we're also going to look at what you can do to better kind of support those areas. What's up with your career and money and then your love life, whether you're single, coupled, or in an undefined relationship. So that could be polyamory, that could be on again, off again, that could be it's a brand new relationship and it's not like Facebook official, um, or there's just somebody I'm talking to, stuff like that. So let's get started. At, you might wanna stick around too till the end because sometimes things pop up when I pull the affirmation card. Okay, so straight out the gate they're like, hey, there's some things that you love that you care about and now is just time to like walk away from them. So it doesn't change the fact that we still care about them or, um, you know, maybe we even love them, but it's time to move on. Um, so I'll dig deeper into that in a minute. But, you know, sometimes this is people. So maybe uh, I have a very toxic mother, for example, um, and I can still love her, but at a distance. You know, or maybe it's a toxic work environment. I have a passion for what I do, but um, it's time for me to move on to uh, something better. And it doesn't even mean that it's toxic. It's just kind of like maybe I love my workplace. Maybe I love my colleagues, but it's time for me to go and learn a new skill in a different kind of environment to feel more challenged. Okay, so there's something going on here that you have to move away from. And if that resonated for you right away, if you're like, ooh, yeah, that's where you want to go with this. But it'll vary for um, all Capricorns, obviously, just because this is like a lot of Capricorns that might watch the video. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is I'm skipping this month the power crystals and the lucky day of the month and um because I wanted to try to make these videos a little bit more concise since I had lost my voice I want to preserve it a little bit so um anyway if you want to know what those are I'm going to send that out when I send out my monthly email if you're not on the email list you should be because I only send one email a month it's not like Target who sends like 60 a day and um that's how you get signed up to win a free video reading um I give one away every month from somebody on my list so uh, let's go here. Now, in regards to like your social and emotional life, aside from moving on from something, what else is going on here? And they say, you know, the issue is that it's hard to find balance. It might be hard to work your social life into your busy work calendar or to get enough sleep or to create routines, actually. Like, so if you could set up date night, that would be good. Or even if it's like a friend date night, you know, like, okay, every first Sunday of the month we go out and this is how I'm going to make sure that I still cultivate my friendships, um, even though I'm feeling very overwhelmed. Um, some of you may not be getting enough sleep. Typically that card doesn't mean that, but I'm getting that's the message for some people. And they're saying that's why it's, um, so your emotions might be very challenging to balance this month as a result of not having this like structured routine where um, things are totally just kind of like moving and flowing the way that they should. So you could be tipping to either extreme, really, where um, you're not doing enough or you're doing way too much, although the majority of you are doing way too much. They're saying, you know, look, the positive side of like taking all of this like action and staying busy and working hard is that it does create new opportunities. You're not wrong there, um, but it can make it challenging for you to really um, feel good emotionally, okay? So you don't want to forsake that emotional balance because you're not going to be able you know, like in favor of achievement or, you know, moving towards your goals or whatever that is, having fun. Because the problem is that you're going to then not fully enjoy the rewards. So let's say that you're like working really, really hard to achieve a goal. And so this is wearing you out emotionally. It's causing stress and strain, but you're like, I'm just going to bulldoze through this. Now, when you finally reach that goal, you might reach it a little bit faster than people who don't bulldoze through it. But the joy and the, um, in the success of attaining that might not be what you expect it to be because you're so emotionally depleted. It's like, instead of, yay, I, um, got a promotion. It's like, cool. Now what? <laughs> so um, you're going to be a lot happier if you're a little bit more aware of that. So 
that's kind of talking about your emotional stuff, but your social stuff, what do we need to know? They're like making time for joy, fun, new um, adventures, things you haven't tried before. Leo had a very similar energy. So um, if you have Leo and Capricorn in your chart, this is especially true for you. They're saying that um, by way of trying new things um, you, or even kind of just like enjoying things that are creative sort of outlets – which could even be things like gardening or cleaning or, um, I don't know, like pottery, like taking a class. They're saying this is going to create something really wonderful for you that has a lot of room for growth. Um, this could be a new partner. This could be like a romance. This could be a new best friend. This could be um, anything like that. And they're saying, you know, if you don't do this, you're kind of – pushing a lot of potential happiness to the side and you're resisting it. And, you know, I would say at the core of what I do, um, every reading is coming from this place of sadness, really. So, I mean, at the core of what I do, it's kind of helping people be happier, whether they feel happier, happier because they're like, okay, now I feel secure in kind of knowing what the future holds or validated right? Or um, it helps like eliminate my fears, but all those things kind of help to increase our joy. Even if the news that I give you isn't great, because it will be empowering to tell you what your options are so that you can move towards your joy. So um, basically, that's kind of what this is saying. It's like, instead of really pulling that joy in and choosing to have like a happier, more joyful life. And I know it's annoying when people say happiness is a choice because it often doesn't feel that way. Um, and that's a larger conversation for a different time but it's almost like a resistance to the possibilities for increased happiness and joy and everybody truly does want that at the end of the day that desire for that though is sometimes masked by other things but at the core of everything that we do it's to um, reduce pain and increase pleasure and joy and happiness everything we do so okay moving forward oh they say, think about like the long term. Where do you want to be? You know, where do you want to be like 50 years from now? What kind of person do you want to be with? Um, what kind of things do you want to look back on and feel like, yay, you know, this is something that I achieved. Why are they bringing that up? They're like, because these are important things to think about. <laughs> okay. Um, they go really f Feel the feelings now as if you have those things. Um, but more than like, hey, what kind of things do I want to achieve down the road? It's like, how do I want to feel when I have achieved them? They don't want you to necessarily set goals. Like, okay, I want to own my own house. I want to um, have, you know, this much money put away for retirement. I want to have two dogs and spend a ton of time with my grandkids. It's nothing like that. What they're saying is, how do you want to feel then? You know, and if you're thinking about those things, that's okay. It's not about achieving those things, but it's how are those things going to make me feel, and then deciding how you can cultivate more of that sentiment and feeling now in your life, and then also kind of evaluating, like, are those things actually going to make me happy? Because that's the problem that a lot of you Capricorns are having, is like by putting so much effort into this, like, delayed reward of happiness, you're missing the happiness you have now, and it's like, okay, well, what if I don't live that long? You know, I might work really, really hard for the next you know, 40 years to put a billion dollars away into a savings account, you know, so that my future, um, so the generations below me, like my kids, my grandkids, my great grandkids, whatever, don't have to work so hard. But like, what is really the satisfaction of that now is like that, do I feel super satisfied that I'm not even cultivating relationships with them as I push myself so hard? No. No, I would rather be remembered as, you know, by my extended family as somebody who was there for them, who really loved them, who paid attention to them, as opposed to somebody who just left them a shit ton of money that they don't even appreciate. So anyway, um, so basically evaluating why your goals are what they are so that you can bring more happiness in now. Sorry, that was kind of a long tangent. Um. What can you do to better support yourself? And they go, don't be judgmental of yourself. And um, understand that, yeah, sometimes change is hard, but it's worth doing. Be open to changing the plan. 
just because, you know, it's a plan that you've been working towards doesn't mean you can't change it and make it better or um, throw it away. There's nothing wrong with that. People change their mind all the time. And sometimes it's a good thing. I mean, it's an awesome thing when like an old racist guy goes, you know what? That was wrong. And I'm sorry. And then makes new best friends. <laughs> they go, so be super, super honest with yourself. Okay, as far as your career goes, what's up in April? And they go, um, th this is a really awesome career month for Capricorn. You could find that uh, where you are becomes a very happy, pleasant work environment. And um, you're starting to get all of the things that you want, like a dream job. Or an opportunity for a dream job might come available. Or you create your own opportunity. But ultimately, this is a time where all of a sudden things can just like kind of synchronistically flow into your life or career. And this is why it's important to be paying attention to that emotional well-being. Because when we're vibrating at love or above, we are a magnet for all of these blessings that can come our way and we get a little bit luckier. But if we're resisting because our energy, our vibration isn't high enough to receive, um, then you might be one of the people who doesn't receive these blessings, unfortunately. And so you want to focus on the sentiment and the feeling and choose happiness and joy whenever possible. So um, what they're saying is like, there's really nothing you have to do. You don't have to go out and approach anyone. You don't have to really create your opportunities, just feeling the happiness that you can in the moment. And so even if you hate your job, it's like, I love that I get paid though. I love that I have a job in the first place. I love that I can leave this one for a better one at any point in time, right? As far as your money goes, they're like, okay, so you're coming from this place where maybe historically things haven't always been easy budget-wise or financially, and it might have been a while back that it wasn't easy, but it's like things are just getting calmer and smoother, and you're like, you're kind of heading in a, in a good direction to the place where you could start, um, you know, getting to where you actually financially want to be. They say um, it would be challenging, though, this month. To set up any sort of things that like basically they're like don't set up anything that's like automatic withdrawal or sign any contracts this month if you can avoid it sometimes you can't avoid it but this is just not the most favorable month for that even though things are kind of heading in the right direction because what they're saying is there's going to be hiccups with that so it's not that the contracts or um the plan like let's say i wanted to have like 30 dollars taken out of my month out of my checking account every month and put into a mutual fund okay or an ira they're like, it's not a bad idea. It's just that this month it's a little bit funky. Like things might go wrong or get confused. It might be kind of a pain in the ass. So just wait till May. That's all. Um, what's going on with your love life if you are a single Capricorn? And they say, ooh, this is a month to have a lot of confidence. It's also, though, this kind of month where you want to, it's not like you second guess other people's motivations and things like that, but you might want to kind of, be a little bit discerning. Um, they say, because your intuition isn't 100% in regards to like somebody's intentions and how they actually are if you meet somebody new this month. Um, it's not as good as it usually is. So you can feel confident about, you know, trying new things and talking to new people, but do it a little bit more discerningly than usual this month. They're saying like, but not to the extent where... Um, we're ready for things to kind of fall apart, you know, not to the extent where we're expecting something bad to happen, but just kind of based on the lessons that we've learned historically throughout our relationships. They're saying like, this might be a confusing kind of time for a lot of Capricorns who are single. And they say the way out of the confusion though, because that confusion is going to start to make you feel bad. It's going to make you feel kind of shitty. Um, and like a little bit of pain just because you're not sure what you want is to try to think really hard about that. What is it that I desire? What kind of relationship do I want? Do I want a relationship? And if I do, why do I want that? How do I want to feel? Um, how do I want to feel when I'm around my partner? How do I want to feel when I'm away from my partner? You know, those kind of situations. And that kind of goes back to where we started with the social and emotional aspect of this reading. For those of you who are coupled, they say, um, you don't have to overthink things. Don't go too deep into things. They're like, your relationship is actually pretty balanced and it's growing in a very healthy way. Now I'm going to say this with a caveat, like for most of you, this is a general reading. So if that doesn't resonate for you, maybe a personal reading would be better. Um, but they're saying, you know, it seems like for those of you who are kind of feeling like things are hopeless, 
Like that's because you're manifesting a relationship that doesn't grow, unfortunately. But for those of you who are kind of like overflowing with love and you're like, things are good and I'm just going to appreciate them as they are. They're like, there's really nothing that you have to do. There's no action step. Things are progressing the way that they're supposed to be. So this is good for you. Now, for those of you who are in undefined relationships, as I mentioned previously, they're saying, again, um, for you guys, it's kind of like, mm, don't overthink it, don't overfeel it, don't worry about it. They're saying, like, some of you might feel a little bit of pain or disappointment this month, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So, for example, let's say you um, are dating a person who is married to somebody else. Going to be painful, but you're going to learn something. Um, they're saying, you know... This month is kind of thinking about the practicality of the situation that you're in, regardless of what kind of situation you're in, because this is for all not defined relationships. You know, um, how practical is this relationship moving forward? How practical is it for me now? Does it work for me? Doesn't it? Thinking those things through um, so you can get to this place of stability. Now, a lot of you are going to be able to, like, think about, okay, this is how it works for me, and this is how I want it to work for me, and then make it work for you. Others of you, maybe not so much, but the majority of you are going to be able to do that. Some of you um, lack confidence in your own abilities to kind of have that discernment. Um, some of you are like, well, I'm afraid that if I go thinking about these things, I'm going to upset the balance, that um, I might throw myself into an emotional tizzy. But this isn't the case. Your spirit guides, angels, you know, whatever, have your back here. And they're going to be giving you intuitive um, insight that is very valid and helpful. Um, I'm going to pull just like kind of a bonus card here because I don't know if you saw, I was looking this other direction because like a like a little spooky, a little ghost. It's not spooky, but something, some sort of spirit just flew right um, through the room, <laughs> right through a little sun ray. And so I want to know why they show up and what they want to say to you. And so they're like, look, this is all about nurturing your emotions and um, not like protecting your heart, you know, like by putting a cage around it, but just like lovingly embracing it and being like, how do I feel? And how do I really nurture you? That's kind of just the message. I guess they're just validating where we started with this whole reading. Okay, so what's your affirmation for the month? I give a portion of my time helping others because this is good for my own emotional health. They say because it's good for my health, but it's good for your emotional health. Um, and this could even, it's not always like a very big time requirement. Sometimes this is just listening. Sometimes, you know, people call you up and they're like, hey, I have this problem. And depending on your personality type, some of you might be like, oh, let me help you. Let me fix it. And that's not what they need. It's just listening. Um, so being that person sometimes is very helpful for your relationships. And then it also is going to help you feel more emotionally calm and balanced just by contrast. Like, oh, that's not my life. Awesome. Um, or to even focus on somebody else, you know, instead of yourself. And then they also say um, limitations are merely opportunities to grow. I use them as stepping stones to success. So nothing, you know, like, um, for example, those of you in those not to find relationships where it's like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This is an opportunity for me to learn and grow. And kind of like where we started, you know, there's some things that maybe we really loved or cared about before, but now it's time to move on. It's like, okay, that's hard. But you know what? This is my journey. Like, as soon as you stop growing, you die. So, there's that. I love you so much and I'll see you in May. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!